what's up guys welcome to today's video i'm sean solo 8 and today i'm going to be going over tebow the ewok from star wars return of the jedi in the new black series box and i just wanted to show the difference of the box uh from the top you can see it's about the same everybody's seen this in many many other videos except it's cut an angle right here which looks pretty sweet so you can see uh overall it's gonna have more storage but i absolutely love the box art but while you're here uh, all these Star Wars Black Series from the movie lines, it says, are on clearance for $7.99 over at Walgreens. So take advantage of that if you have a Walgreens in your area. But let's look at the box art on this Tebow. I think it's absolutely epic. They've done a wonderful job. Tebow looks absolutely awesome in the package. On the side, you do get a new little window. And it's a lot thicker. It's like double carded on the side here. So these boxes are extremely sturdy. On the bottom, not much going on. On the back, you do have a small write-up. Feel free to pause it if you want to read that. And there's a new window on the top, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to pop a picture up on the screen. There was like a case of these at my Walmart, which is totally weird. I live in a town of about 100,000 people, so there's no way they would ship, you know, eight cases to one Walmart store of the full wave. So what are they thinking? Is this a whole case full of Tebow's? I have no idea. I'm going to show you guys really quick how cool the new packaging is. It does slide open so your box stays absolutely mint. Again, it's all double carded on the inside, but it's a cool tray and it just opens up. Uh, so normally where it would be stuck on your cardboard, now you've got this nice tray. Anyhow, let's get Tebow out of here. Boom! We have Tebow out of the package and as you can see, this little fur ball is absolutely awesome. I know a lot of people don't like Ewoks and a lot of people don't really care for Tebow being the first pick but I absolutely love Tebow being the first pick if you've ever played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes this guy could solo the Rancor raid because he took away turn meter from this little weapon that you see right here every time you hit him he would take the turn meter off of the Rancor boss but I just wanted to leave the packaging in the background just to give you guys a different view of scenery but the paint job on this guy is absolutely epic. He feels great in your hand. It looks just like fur all over the place. I hope these do sell well, but why would they ship them in a whole case? Look at all the fur and the different paint in there. Everything just looks great. This little knife does come out. I'll show you that while we're here. You can see a definitely great paint job on the little knife. And I'll leave that in his little soft rubber holster deal here it is glued together there this right here is rubber the paint on the teeth looks really good too so they did a great job on that this weapon right here looks really cool looks like there's fur around the top with some rope and you can see the stone and the molding on there looks really good too so they did a great job on the staff and it's nice and bent to represent wood too but that's even painted which looks great his axe looks super good you can see the stone and like the cloth wrapped around there. So they did a really good job in there. And it looks like two different tones of gray inside the stone, which is great. And again, the wood detail goes all throughout. Tebow's strap just looks great. I love this hat. I can't wait to get a whole army of Ewoks. But look at the detail in there. That is absolutely amazing. Lots of cloth. His ears pop right out. I love this massive feather look right here. The horns and the paint is absolutely perfect. I love his big old teddy bear eyebrows and lips. He looks just, in fact, uh, I watched Return of the Jedi last night with my daughter because of this figure. You can see the animal eyes, but yeah, what a great job. And then there's like a little black feather in the hat up there, but excellent job Hasbro. Really, really pleased with this. You can see he holds all his weapons really good. So you can leave them on display just like that but this is excellent but sorry Tebow we're going to take away your weapons and go over the part that everybody skips in my videos if you can bear with me and watch the rest anyway we're going to stick Tebow's arms up way up high he doesn't go up too high they do rotate 360 he's only got a single hinge in his arm and it, but it bends really really high his hand does rotate 360 there is no little hinges in there that I can see. It's hard to see with his fur. And this arm does the same, bends up that high, rotates 360. He is on, looks like a diaphragm joint in there, a little ball. So he does 
tilt side to side. Doesn't bend forward very good, but he does tilt back pretty good too. His head does tilt side to side. He looks down pretty decent. Looks up really good actually. And he, of course he does have lots of cool emotion in there. This headpiece, we're gonna go ahead and try to take it off for this video. And it looks like it just pops right off. Yeah, so it is just rubber and soft. So you can bend that, but that looks so cool. Really, really great job. And you can see you can have a different Ewok. His ears look really cool. The texture all throughout and the paint on the head looks really good. This obviously is going to come off. The waist does rotate there and you've got a massive Ewok butt. Looks like he has some really good legs. Kicks up about that far. Kicks back extremely far. He has a single jointed knee which I've had him bent during the whole video. And his foot has a little hinge. And you can see these cute little toes with a different paint on the toes. They really went all out on this. No pegs on the bottom, which is definitely weird. But uh, what do you guys think of the new box? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about the case of Ewoks being shipped to my Walmart? Or do you think it's possible they did ship eight cases? Has anybody else seen eight cases in their Walmarts? Uh, again, remember the population of people where I live is absolutely different. But if you enjoyed today's video, kindly throw a thumbs up on there. I would definitely appreciate it. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.